Hello world! Today I have a gun to show you. It is the M11. Oops, let's make sure it's unloaded. And this is a pretty much metal cinder block designed to shoot bullets. And it that's pretty much its best description, honestly. Um, this is kind of a chain of horrible guns that I keep uh, buying and trading out with. And I won't get into the full story of uh, how I acquired this weapon, but simply know that it was a trade-in for an AR-15 rifle. And that rifle worked itself, but I do not hang on to AR-15 rifles because their lowers cannot be turned into pistols. Those are legal hot potatoes, and I have no intention of hanging on to a legal hot potato. I just want to hang on to uh, things that I know are going to be lawful all throughout um, my altercation of my ownership of them and not do anything stupid with it. So I went ahead and traded it, and the guy who was trading me in the gun said he didn't feel comfortable buying it off me because he already had a bunch of AR-15s. And a lot of people, I guess, in the area had the same opinion as I did, is they wanted an AR-15 pistol lower that could be built up any way they wanted, not a rifle lower. So he traded me for this. He basically just pulled it out and handed it to me and said, how about you just take this home in in exchange. And so I filled out the paperwork and this is what I ended up with. It's kind of rusty, pitted, pitted to crap and back. It looks like it was stored in some kind of sewer, perhaps. Uh, the first thing I noted on this gun when I got it was that it had a split between um, this back grip portion and the metal portion, and this metal portion froze the crap out of my hand. So I put electrical tape around it to fix that. Probably not the Probably not what everyone would do with their gun, but I did because, heh, it's my gun and whatever. It does function, though. I also put a grip on the magazine because if you don't hold the magazine, it literally just pops out of the gun. There's no, there's no release or anything. It could just slide out of the gun at any moment. So I had to put a grip around it to remind myself to hang on to the magazine and make it more comfortable to hang on to. It also makes the magazine a little bit more durable when it's dropped. And really, there's just not much to say about this gun other than that it's a brick. Its sights are awful. It's just a, it's just welded steel. The charging handle thing knob is on the top, and it's a pain in the butt to pull back. I thought this thing would fire from an open bolt, which seems like a smart idea, but instead it fires from a closed bolt, which, I don't know, for the design of weapon that this is, I don't like that it fires from a closed bolt. I would have preferred an open bolt design but I guess they're making those illegal, so. Uh, the safety is this weird little uh, spin-around safety, and I don't, I don't trust it one bit, but it, it does technically work to stop you from pulling the trigger. And of course, the ultimate downfall of this weapon is that if you fire it, the, it can't cycle without knocking your finger forward. So I can't actually cycle this weapon while still holding down the trigger. The 9mm, however, will of course push your finger forward and basically it, it does a trigger slap. It slaps your finger. It feels like you're breaking your finger every time you fire the darn thing. So as we go to transition to the close up portion, because I really want you to see how bad this gun is, uh, I'm going to let you watch me hurt myself trying to fire this gun. Ow. 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 Ah. Ah. Finger. Alrighty then. Now that you're done watching me hurt myself on this gun, let's just take a look at it real fast. And I'm not going to do disassembly on this gun because um, there's a feature inside this gun I don't feel comfortable showing on the internet. And it's basically... If you were to cut a certain part, you'd have a runaway gun scenario. And I don't feel like I want to show that to people in case they get the bright idea of doing it themselves and making a full auto weapon. So, this thing is pitted all to hell and back. It was clearly so stored in the back of some guy's toilet. And it's, it's rusty, it's pitted, it's dirty, it's 
it's leaving stains and stuff all over my paper even though I've cleaned it it's just a it's just a weapon that looks like it was it was pressed out of that metal you see at the bottom of uh, dumpsters and I don't know what else to say about it but it's not a bad gun when it's in its role if it were given to the US military in its full auto configuration I imagine it could spray a lot of bullets into a focused area real quickly, and then you could just throw the brick at them to knock out your opponent. But in in my in in what I need it for, which I need a semi-automatic weapon that is reliable and does not break my finger, uh, it kind of fails at that. So that was my quick little review of the M11 by uh, this manufacturer here, which I doubt you can read that because it's so corroded. But oh well. This is my little rant on the worst gun I own. And for now, this is Timber22 saying bye-bye.